Hello everyone, welcome to another attempt at getting 1001%. I've hit random, we're going to be playing as Isaac. That's kind of nice, it's nice to get a sort of a, a palatable vanilla sort of run. We'll see how we get on. Curse of the Blind means that we don't know whether we want to re-roll what we start with. I've just come off the back of the daily run for the 13th. Um, the Eden start, which was abysmal and spoilers, we died very early. Um, and it's really nice to have any amount of DPS on the first floor right now, so I'll take it. I'm going to be playing. We're probably going to be thinking of trying to finagle a angel run, because that's where the remaining items for 1001% come from. It's also one of the rarest items, one of the most difficult items that people would have trouble with getting in order to get real Platinum God in the first place, i.e. Godhead. Not sure we've seen it even on a daily, although we have seen Mega Blast, and I have in fact had Mega Blast um, already since unlocking it. So Godhead appears to be way rarer than even Mega Blast. And Mega Blast, if you don't recall, is the one where you press the spacebar and you have 15 seconds of fiery blood laser death coming out of your face, killing every single room basically summarily. Uh, until it wears off, and it's the one that killed us on a daily run because we were Judas, and it caused us to walk onto some spikes because it has a massive amount of pushback. You remember, it's Kamikaze, it's getting re-rolled. Now this, of course, is not a daily run. We don't have to worry, ooh, we don't have to worry about uh, points. We don't really have to worry about HP. Well, I'm not taking damage, I suppose, because we're not worrying about points. We have to not take damage on the sense of if we take damage we'll die but oh hell that thing started shooting immediately I cannot kill these things can someone please link me to a strategy guide that actually tells me how the fuck to get rid of these bastard things because they move and they teleport open this we can get out of here they move and they teleport no that's mine uh, whilst you're trying to shoot them basically I can't figure out how to get a shot in uh, speed up is great Telepills? Leave. Uh, not brilliant. <laughs> not brilliant. This is the start room. And both of these key rooms are the same distance away. Ah, I was right. I was hoping that we would end up with... The sun. Well, what we did end up with. The uh, library. I'm going to take the sun. We have got a chance at an arcade on the next floor. And the sun will just undo all the damage that the arcade does to us. We're not going to be looking to take a deal with the devil, but we do want the door to open so that we can not take the deal with the devil and therefore hope to get angel rooms, which then we hope to have Godhead in them. Although, historically, whenever you actually do get an angel room, it's absolute shite and everybody hates it and it's the worst thing in the world. The champion version of Gemini here, the only real difference between it and non-champion version of Gemini is that the conjoined fetus here doesn't actually um isn't conjoined no 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 no. i really hate gemini because during this part of the fight there's always a maneuver that this weird elastic rubber banding bastard does that manages to get it to hit me luckily this is the first floor not the second floor so we don't need to worry about the door opening we don't need to worry about not taking red heart damage on this floor we do need to worry about it on oh, there you go i told you what happened on the next floor so is ever going to be a Gemini play? I'm glad it's now. Cat Nine Tails is very nice indeed. It's an excellent first floor item. It's a pretty good late floor item to be fair, but don't tend to um, don't tend to get that. So we'll come in here and we'll um, crank on this a little bit. Get some, a few pennies out of it. Is that a wooden nickel back there? Something's back there. Since it didn't jump out, I'm going to believe that's a wooden nickel. Um which means we have to bomb it. You can see our... Ooh, that was close. Our shot speed is already a lot better. Our damage is doing really well. Our own speed is better because we also picked up a speed upgrade. Did we pick up a... Yeah, we picked up a pill that gave us a speed upgrade. We're one shot in these flies, which already makes us slightly better than the Eden run that we uh, did on the daily. I don't want to go this way yet. Well, I want to find a key, but obviously I want to be over here to do so. so it seems to work out in, in its favour to be over here. We can't get into the shop as you can no doubt tell, because we also don't have a key for that. Careful here. Doing really well. Um, often 
can get a little bit complacent. It is not the case right now. I'm going to go in the secret room more than I care about those coins right now. Uh, bomb bag, okay. Or oh, is that a sack of pennies? That's a sack of pennies, which is still pretty good, similarly to bomb bag. It can pay for a couple of things uh, in on the course of the run. It just causes pennies to drop. Great. <laughs> Should have saved my bomb. We'll keep the, um, keep the reroll for the boss item. Obviously, I'm not concerned by the deal with the devil, so... I'm not going to be looking to re-roll it, because I'm not going to be looking to take it anyway. I mean, often, if you actually are in a position to take a deal with the devil, and you have a full re-roll, you would normally save the re-roll for the devil deal, uh, and use it there before you use it on the boss item. Especially if the boss item is HP, because if you're going to re-roll the deal with the devil into something that you actually want to take, chances are you spent HP on it, so you want to keep HP around on the boss pedestal in order to replenish the HP that you just sold on the boss, uh, on the devil, so this doesn't apply, with, unless it's amazing, in which case we'll just have an amazing run and have done with it. We're going to be looking to re-roll the boss item, but we'll check. Let's not um, prematurely write ourselves into a corner or anything, we're definitely going to do what is best, what is most awesome. Whoa! Provided we don't get hit! I was talking about all of that, it is HP. As though, oh, it's fucking brimstone. Yep, all bits are off. Lol, don't even really care about going to the, uh... I don't think we can. We'll go to the curtain. Mm, still really can't. We haven't got a bomb, so we... Right. I mean, maybe we check the poops. We're going to be going quickly now. It's, um, it's basically a one run, there's no doubt that. You can't say that a brimstone run is not going to be won. Well, you can't say that it will be won, but it's sort of a case that it could go horribly wrong, right? Just trying to get some HP out of these things, because... Or a bomb. Bomb would be great. Not Maybe we don't have a great luck stat? Ooh. Yes, please. Thank you! Uh, shouldn't have picked up the spirit heart just yet, but... You know, you win some, you lose some. Maybe one of these will get us out. The Fool card will get us out, and Temperance gives us nothing, so <laughs> it wasn't worth coming in here. Apart from to learn what was in here, it's kind of worth it. Still no bombs, still no key. Can't get the key with the bomb. So I guess we'll just leave. We have unfortunately managed to squander an item room that could have actually been good for us just by using the bomb that little bit too early but honestly who could suggest that how how could i have known that i was going to get a key gated by rocks the moment after i used my only bomb on something that i couldn't also get anyway so that bomb turned out to be key to the floor and i was not able to acquire it is this the good one or the bad one this is the good one. A pop pop. Blasting cap. Pop pop. Whenever you use a bomb, you have a chance to drop another bomb. Which is great. Yeah, we'll do this. A dime. Excellent. Very nice. BNBN. BN. Uh, the other one that looks similar is just far too. Basically, it causes poops to explode when they break. You can imagine that that is not quite so good. We'll probably use this key to go to the shop because we have enough money to not only buy um, another key, but if there's nothing that we want to... but uh, We can buy an item, basically. If We can't buy both. If there's no item that we want to buy, now there's two keys, doesn't really matter. Um, if there's no item for sale that we care for, we buy a key. Dot them. Finally, Dark Bum gets to play. So, we're on the we're on a roll now. We've managed to pick up enough red HP that we can start giving him to Dark Bum. Oh, you fired. You got one out just before he died. A last hurrah. A f famous last stand of the wall-mounted spider thing. Here's probably the shop. So that's good for us. Uh, yeah, we'll take Chaos, thank you. <laughs> so Chaos. Probably already know how Chaos works from watching all the dailies. Um, Chaos is the one where any item pedestal can contain any item. The only difference, the only exceptions are bosses that drop unique items 
Well, bosses that drop unique items are basically the only exception, I believe. Um, that was a very good dodge. I'm not doing as much damage as I would um, have anticipated, to be fair. Nine lives is here, so we'll come back and get that. Because we don't have to pay for it. Um... I mean, I guess we take a little brimstone. Let me take nine lives and get our one HP back. There's no real reason to take little brimstone there. We could have rerolled the deal with the devil, but... I didn't want to spend that much HP. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't want to reroll little brimstone. And taking little brimstone would have put us in a position where there was no point rerolling the other one, because we couldn't have bought it anyway. I didn't want to reroll nine lives, so I'm going to save the reroll for this very room here. Thank you for... Um, being timely. Punctual. It is... Shit. We roll it. It is pretty good. Red attack fly. Obviously more dangerous to use because you have to get close to enemies. But does a lot more damage. So you have to get close to enemies for a lot less time. Pretty nice. So what do we do? We can theoretically buy Godhead from the shop now. Or any of the other items we want. We're still looking for Immaculate Conception. And we haven't got enough keys to do that. Immaculate Conception... And I forget the final one. It's also an item room, angel room item. I'm pretty sure I mentioned all three in a in the previous video, so the, it is on record that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just not consistent, I guess. I knew what I was doing once, and I could probably claw back that knowledge if I meditated upon it. It's a second guppy item, actually. Um. Compared to whatever I just let go. I recognise it. It wasn't good enough. I didn't comment upon it. Maybe I should have. Don't know. Start them. Go. Go GG. Thanks, start them. But we know the mechanics to start them. You can't be salty when he doesn't, you know, break his programming. He's not Crichton. <laughs> what am I doing? That was outrageous. It worked, but don't. Don't do that. You're playing this game? Don't play it the way I just did. We got uh, got our reroll back. Didn't really fancy rerolling either of the items. But I didn't really fancy rerolling the item room because we wanted the item that was there. Uh, Dazki probably doesn't do it for us. Do you want sad bombs? Yes. So we will. We could probably get it if we got lucky on this shopkeeper here. We uh, did do so, and we got our um, our bomb back from. Our trinket, which is very nice. Northern Lion always, um, Northern Lion always goes, uh, that trinket, because he has not yet learned to recognize the difference. I have not yet learned to recognize the difference, but what I have done is learned that there is a difference, and that the good one says pop pop, like YV. So if you remember that the good one is YV, you just pick it up and put it back down again if you don't like it. I mean, having pop. Poops explode. Dot them, I was kind of expecting better of you. Poops exploding? Sounds bad. Probably kind of is bad. That would be why it sounds bad. Uh, you tend to be close to poops. Is this the version of... This is Gurdy that only summons enemies. Um, but getting our bomb back there is amazing. I mean, let's have a look. Watch. This is why we do this. Yeah. Lol. GG, Gurdy. And I would probably even take... Apparently I've got homing sad bombs now. Dark Bum, I know you're in payout mode. Do I want to do any of the rest of this floor? No. We don't have a second key, so we can't go into that double key room. We did find the shop and we bought sad bombs. Now that we have chaos, anything can show up there. Uh, I think that also counts for golden chests. I'm not sure about golden chests, because... Golden chests in Afterbirth have basically become... You can get heads in golden chests. Any item that is a head, you can get from golden chests. There's our speed upgrade again. It's nice. But I don't know whether that item pool has changed as a result of chaos. Uh, yes, we will definitely open this. Two bombs and two keys. And all it costs is a key. We could also spend a bomb to get a reroll. We have plenty of bombs, so... If we do desire a reroll, we can always go and get one. Uh, I mean, there's still a... What am I doing? Put this here. There's still a chance... That it has a... It has nothing. Okay. I mean, there was still a chance that it had a black market below it, is what I was saying. A clean room is, I think, guaranteed, or at least extremely likely to have 
um, a crawl space underneath the carpet. Dirty room is usually a trip down to the next floor, but in this case, apparently, it wasn't even ooh, that. I don't know. Just <laughs> let them shoot. They ain't doing nothing. All right. We've got a couple of battery chargers. I don't know what we did to deserve them, but I'm grateful for it. If we don't like our item room, we can re-roll it several times. Please. <laughs> These new troll bombs. I mean, again, Afterbirth has put a few new subtle changes in on top of Rebirth that is still getting used to them. One of which is that troll bombs now have a slightly randomised length of fuse. Um... Which is difficult because it used to be that you could just rely on them all to go off at the same time. Like you could walk into a room, reset all the fuses on them, and they'd all blow each other up. They'd all blow up at the same time, not interact with each other and not bounce around the room. Not anymore. They'd still bounce around the room because they all go off at slightly randomised times. Here is our item room, which is a f***ing question mark. Could be anything. Uh, hopefully in something we can put back down if we don't like it. It's Goathead. I love it. I am extremely pleased to have taken this. Thank you to the game for giving me Goathead in an item room despite having chaos. I mean, item rooms can contain basically every item anyway. So, it's not that great. There's, there are some items that do not come into the item room pool. Darkburn, why the fuck are you not paying out, by the way? Talk about this? No? No? I think I will buy this because Dark Bum is not doing his GD job. And if Dark Bum ain't going to do his spirit heart producing duties, but I shall have to supplement his duties with my own time. Dark Bum, I know you have a full heart inside you. Fucking give me a fucking spirit heart. Much better. We could take Rainbow Worm. I'm not sure how it would interact with Brimstone. I expect either abysmally or hugely entertainingly. Or why not both dot JPG? It could be exactly that. Can attempt to take it just for science. That was lovely. I do love brimstone. <laughs> um, here's Gish. So Gish is going to give me a little Gish. Little Gish is an okay item. It does produce its own tears. I genuinely thought that you had not jumped this far, but apparently you had. Bad damage considering it's a Gish fight. But, you know, whatever. We've got our brimstone and little brimstone backing us up. So basically, almost double damage. Not sure how much more damage little brimstone, uh, well, how much less damage little brimstone is. Let's go in here. Okay. Scatter bombs. Even more fucking bombs. No worries. And then this is going to be Gish. Do we want Gish? No. Ten bombs. We have a shitload of bombs now, so there's no excuse not to use them. Secret room? Yes. Super secret room? Pardon me? The scatter bombs also are sad bombs. <laughs> this is outrageous. That was not a super secret room, but I was so excited by my bomb synergies. Ooh. More bomb opportunities. Lol. Oh. Just remember about your scatter bombs, though. Friendly fly. Well, now we've got two flies. We'll be Beelzebub anytime soon. Yeah, try it, spiders, you fucking assholes. I'm going to use a bomb to get out of here and then go into the curse room because I'm feeling ballsy. Hello. Die. Very good. Got a bomb back. Ah, oh, wasn't very good. Not really worth it, I have to imagine. <laughs> Alright. We haven't got very much HP, but honestly, I'm not entirely of the opinion that we need it. We may even do boss rush. That's how outrageous this is. Ah. We have an Empress card. I haven't mentioned it. Empress is just temporary horror Babylon for the room. I think we'll probably use it on a difficult boss. Something we want to get out of the way quick. <laughs> we should just put a bomb down in every room. Which I am doing anyway. Uh, I'll save my keys for now. Don't forget we got Guppy's tail earlier. Um, which is going to be causing us to get way more chests than we anticipate. That's another key. Now we've got another chest, so... Yeah, that's a, no okay, that. that's a normal arcade. Sometimes arcades can contain things besides that particular setup, so it's worth having a look. It only costs one bomb to check it out. That one? Thank you. So that one's basically paid for our deal with the devil already. Oh. Three champions on one room, by the way. Can we not? I dodged that. Can we have it on record that I successfully dodged a shot that I would normally be unable to dodge? Well, it is on record. I'm recording this, but I mean... Can we, can we take note of it? Can we consider it an official 
milestone in my Isaac career rather than just one of those things that a skilled Isaac player who's recording his progress is supposed to actually do. I'm not to say that I'm a skilled Isaac player, quite the opposite. Um, more to suggest that anyone who is recording their progress should have some skill in the game. I say we might do boss rush, we actually have to find the fucking thing before we can do that. Uh, more bombs. Oh, that's just Mr. Boom. Not too bothered by this shot. Ah, oh, tell you what. Nope, still not bothered by this shot. I don't see any... I don't see any batteries on the ground. Unlike the previous floor, which was replete with them. So we can't sort of just recharge at will our D6. So hopefully we don't need to. Let's see what's in here. Uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I was thinking it would be great if we got Black Candle in the previous shot. Uh, we didn't. Because it was right here. Right now. Superstar DJ. Here we go. We can, uh, we can put a bomb here now and sort out. That one travelled a long way. Sort out of this. Dark bomb. What you got for me? You slag. Oh, I guess we'll go this way. We haven't got time to get to boss rush. Oh, uh, we may do. <laughs> this is Dank Depths 2. I thought it was 1. But the main reason I don't think we have time is I don't know where it is. And these fucking rooms where these things are invincible from the start. It's just BS, man. Can we turn off this invincibility? How are you not dead? We need the damage upgrade stat. We have got a reroll, though. We've got four seconds to get to boss... Excuse me? I have gone the wrong way. There will be no boss rush for me. I turned around. More synergies for bombs. Well, we got it. I was thinking maybe reroll it. But then I picked it up, so no rerolls for me. Dark bum. That is no help. What do I do here? Come on now. Come on. Good. I came back here thinking that one room where it obviously is, there's no way it's going to be in that direction, right? That looks like a dead end and a half. Oh, that is a dead end if I ever saw one. And I've seen a few dead ends in my time. Nope. That ain't no dead end. Ain't no dead end when she's gone. Boom, boom, boom. That is our secret. We should be using that way more often. 14 cents makes me reluctant to do anything with that. It's right the fuck here. I mean, it was literally the next room. We actually could have done it. Ah, it's a bit of a shame. I mean, it's not a big deal. We do have chaos, which means boss rush could have contained anything. Which means it could have been absolute hog shit. There is no secret room there. What am I doing? Spike Mom. I wonder what happens if you re-roll the uh, Polaroids, etc. Oh, Red Mom. Try and uh, use your orbitals on Red Mom. Wow, you hit me. I thought I was out of the way. Yeah, Red Fly is doing some good damage here. Friendly Fly is doing okay. Friend zone. Man, <laughs> do, do you right? Be better. I can't seem to get the brimstone laser to hit it because whenever it comes down, I'm too busy concentrating on doing it right. Dark Bomb's got something for me. Dark Bomb has nothing for me. It is, of course, Krampus. We can reroll Krampus's head. I think we can take Lump of Coal. I believe it now synergizes. I mean, it does change the size of your laser, but I assume that it changes the damage of your laser. Equivalently, yet to find the things I'm here for, being Godhead, Immaculate Conception, and the final one, which is also an Angel Room item. I mean, that's another one of those situations. Wow, yes, I think we're doing a lot more damage to that one than this one. Uh, Krampus counts as one of those bosses that always drops the same item pool, so Chaos doesn't apply to Krampus, unfortunately. Put this here. Got this here. Loki's dead. That was amazing. I wish that could happen every time. Let's take this, save some keys. A luck upgrade is nice. Uh, and a speed and shot speed up. I don't think shot speed helps us, but the speed does. Do hush, maybe? Do you think this is a hush run? I think this could be a hush run, especially if Dark Bum's going to start paying out. It'd be nice to get Gimpy or something similar that causes us to drop HP even when we're not being damaged. 
which I think is basically Gimpy. I don't know of another thing that would do that. Do we go in there? I think maybe not. If we find a teleport card, absolutely we do. Oh shit, what's happening here? Do you see that? They were both going in different directions, which is against regulation. Have you never been to an ice rink? You're all supposed to go in the same direction. This is a bit more awkward than you'd expect. One thing you do lose with Brimstone is the ability to bank your tears. And I don't mean sort of store them for later, I mean send them off in a, at an angle. You can't angle your tears by moving around cleverly. So you can't shoot things that are in awkward positions. Slightly low on HP. Dark Bloom has not been the knockout that I thought it was going to be. Because we haven't dropped any HP. It's been really sparse. Very thin on the ground. So there's a thing to consider getting. Remember not to... Uh, <laughs> go straight in after the bombs exploded. You have to wait for the secondary bombs to explode too. Question marks is bad gas. That's fine. We don't need piercing shots. Obviously. Maybe obviously. Secret room. So many bombs, it's worth checking. Yeah, secret room. I did just go straight in <laughs> with my spare bombs just sort of hanging there, but got them. Deal with it. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a spider. I mean, not entirely salty, but not entirely... There's just no fucking way that hit me. Fucking dick. Good. Can't believe I got hit by the bloke. Oh, there's our guppy. So we hit this. Boom, guppy. We take that. We go in here. Do we want to re-roll? I honestly don't think I want to pay. Because I will... I won't die. Because... We have nine lives. But also, I don't want to be on the next floor with just one HP. We will be guppy. Let's re-roll it. We got the mark. Which gives us HP. We might as well swap red HP for... Hey, that cost us our other HP. That's bullshit. Why is there another chest over here? Uh, let's, let's go and figure out why there's a chest over here. This would be a, a small amount of backtracking that normally I would be somewhat anathema to, but... Anathema? I mean, that would make me the the negative reagent. Oh, I didn't open this chest here. Oh, pardon me. Leave. That bomb's already on the case. So we've actually traded our HP for one HP anyway, because I didn't realise that taking... Oh, shit. I don't want to be in here. I did not realise that if I took... Whatever. <laughs> The... What did we take, though? I didn't realise that taking the dinner, the HP upgrade, would cost us not only the spirit heart that we had, but also the red heart that we had. I mean, did you? Did you know that? I didn't know that. We should be okay. I'd like to re-roll this, but we don't have a battery charge. Uh, but... What can you do? The flies are going to be outrageous, killing it. Oh, yeah, we're going in. Not gonna bother with that. It's another womb, I think. Oh, it's Utro too. Well, Utro can be hard, but not too hard. Let them get your ass over. Here. Bombs a key. Now we've got 24 keys. I mean, we were happy with our bombs. Our bomb synergies were pretty good. Yep, yep. I thought I was in a safe place. I was not. Our bomb synergies are all right. But having 24 keys at least allows us to do some interesting things with. Some other floors where there are chests and the like. I'm thinking of the chest, which is a floor with chests. I think I would still prefer to have 24 bombs right now. Hello, Greed. Goodbye, Greed. Good time to get a steam sale. Super happy with that. Uh, if we're going to do the hush room, we might as well have a steam sale to go along with it. We have got some protection. Did you bring protection? You can't do this without protection. Let's start them again. Sort it out. Good job. And here is... Tinted rock. Man, these lasers though. I mean, this is the reason why having bombs a key was not ideal in this situation. But also... Right, who cares? We don't... We don't need... We're not using the bomb synergy anyway. We could probably use it on boss rooms and the like. Even, honestly, I think mom's heart's gonna eat shit due to our amazing amaze. 
It's what I'm going to call our amaze balls. That's the uh, cojones that are causing us to be this amaze. We can re-roll something, but what? Something in here? Not re-rolling this run. No sorry. Items? No items. Got them, go and get that. Do your job. Good. Don't really care about that. Oh, there we go. That was a bit awkward, but we made it work. And this room can basically fuck right off. Everybody hates it. <clears throat> Including the people who made it, I have no doubt. Why am I in this room? Well, didn't realise it was a dead end. Probably could have fathomed. So our guppy transformation is basically killing everything that we have the slightest modicum of room to manoeuvre in. So I guess we just sort of keep going. This feels like a super secret room sort of situation. It ain't. It is. I put it in the wrong place. Man, I'm good at this shit. I'm bad at the positioning, but I'm good at the recognising. I, I don't mean to you know, blow my own roses, but I do tend to find the super secret room in locations where normally you wouldn't look. Hey. There are several locations where the super secret, super secret room can be. Often you'd look next to the boss. And failing that, maybe you'd look... Fuck. You know, in, in a place... Is that one? I think I need this. I can't buy this. Why? I don't want that. <laughs> hush or no hush. Look, we have to finish this fight. We'll see at the end of it whether there are three or two items missing from our collected items, but I don't think I've ever seen uh, Seraphim before. I've seen the other one that begins with S, the one that follows you. And I'm kind of happy to have got all these um, keys in this situation, but especially in this situation. There's one back. Uh, one of them, Seraphim... Is then also the name of a transformation if you get three angel items or angel familiars or something. But there is another one that uh, follows you rather than uh, and fires, follows you and shoots rather than being a, an orbital. We've got an orbital. Fire. That might have been worth doing. I don't know. Key gods might have been worth doing. I honestly have no idea. I accidentally brim snapped there, but at least little brimstone's got my back. You the man, little brimstone. You the man. Uh, I mean, we might as well charge up naturally. If we're going to find something to re-roll, we might want to re-roll it twice. This is not a thing to re-roll. This is a full card. This gets us out of a cursed room. you think the cathedral would never have a cursed room. That's, that would be my assumption for something called the cathedral. That there would be no room of curse therein. But there is. Uh, let's explode this. Did give us a spirit heart. And let's put a bomb down here just in case. No. Whoa! I'm gonna go in anyway because it only costs us on the way out. What am I expecting to get in here? A power pill, apparently. We'll keep the Empress card. It could help us with the Isaac fight. Or the Blue Baby fight or something in between. Well, not in, bet yeah, in between the Isaac and Blue Baby. Between here and Isaac, but I very much doubt that anything between here and Isaac is going to be remotely a challenge for us. This has turned out to be an incredible run. Another double key room, though. Uh, an incredible run that I'm not that willing to re-roll at this stage, thank you. We will take a look upgrade, because we're about to go down to the, to the chest. What we really want is more drops. More item drops. And the item drops are more likely to be chest drops thanks to Guppy's tail, which we've picked up very early on. The ability to have picked up the Guppy transformation on this run is basically... I, need, I know I called it a one run at the beginning, and I was only half joking. Brimstone is an extremely powerful item and almost guarantees you a win from the beginning, but it can't carry you all the way through. Enemies will get stronger and outpace you. But we've just kept on top of it, and with the Guppy transformation... All those flies with our the damage that we're currently doing. There's another guppy item, hilariously. With the damage that we're currently doing, 
is just outrageously good. Let's take Book of Secrets and use it. Do we want um, butt bombs? I mean, no. Ooh. That might be one of the ones I needed. No, that was Cambian. I think it already had Cambian Conception. So we've got the full visible map. The Book of Secrets showed us where the secret rooms are, and I'm going to assume that the boss is up at the top. So we'll come into this room, beat the crap out of it, and go to the secret room. For shits. Don't walk into the new bombs. There we go. Just bombs. Magic Mush? That'll be great at this time. Absolutely nothing. I'm not even going to blow up that out of spite. Don't want those. Curse of the Tower. Could be fun with our bomb synergies, but it could also be horrendous. Yera? Blank rune. Algis. Oh, okay. Blank rune. Mm -hmm. Forgotten. Oh, balls. I tried to sidestep it, and then it all went wrong. It's all gone wrong for me. Can't really one-shot these bosses, which is kind of frustrating. I want to say it's frustrating. That's... Seems like I'm over-egging that particular pudding, but it's kind of that I feel like I should be super amazingly powerful, and actually I'm only kind of amazingly powerful. It's it's a a good problem to have. It's very first world problem being problemsy. It's kind of what I was hoping for. <laughs> I didn't like to say. Oh shit. That might be one of them. Maybe it was Sacred Heart. We'll check. We could have got both of them in one run. Oh, Magician. Yes. Alright, this is going to be great. We could, have, we could have just got two of the three things that we need in one run. Why did that home anyway? What did I just pick up? <gasps> it's already got homing shots. I forgot that item was homing shots, even though it explicitly said it was homing shots. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Thanks, flies. F flies. Flies. Can't. Can't, um... Oh, what are these going to be like? Oh, shit, we have to try it. Cool. We haven't got permanent Polaroid invincibility anymore because Sacred Heart gives us, um... Oh, don't forget that homing bombs as well. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. We're putting these down all the time, then. Lol. <laughs> I love it. We've got a reroll. Here you go. Game over, man. We win. That was outrageous. Oh man, what a great, what a great run that was. And that's the second in our streak as well. Let's have a look at our. Where are they? Two streak. We go stats, items. So there's a gap in this page. This is Godhead, I think. Now there's still two gaps here. So this one's Immaculate Conception rather than Cambian Conception. That's Cambian Conception, which we just picked up. Still can't remember what this one is, but I'm pretty sure it's an Angel Room item. I have obviously forgotten, even though I said just a couple of days ago what it was going to be. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this is going, probably going to go on quite a long time, even after I do get a thousand one percent. So if you're enjoying it, do leave a like. Let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest of this series and see how far I get and how salty I can actually be at this game. And until next time, I'll see you then.